Now, sometimes when we're working with numbers in scientific notation, we'll do some sort of calculation, and we'll end up with a number that breaks the usual rules of scientific notation. What do I mean? I mean, specifically, sometimes we'll end up with a number whose significant is either too big or too small. What should we do in that case? Well, obviously, if that happens, we should fix it. Now, there are two ways that we could go about fixing misformed scientific notation. Option one is to just convert to decimal notation and then convert back. So, for example, if we have 23.7 times 10 to the third, well, in decimal notation, that'll be, what, 2, 3, 7. And then we want to move the decimal point three places to the right. So 1, 2, 3. And then convert back from 23,700. Most significant digit, least significant digit. So we'll have... 2.37 times 10 to the 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 10 to the fourth. Okay, so that method works, but it's sometimes not very practical. For example, let's say we encounter this number, 0. 0.0041 times 10 to the 98. Converting that back to decimal notation is going to involve counting to 98 and putting in at least 90 zeros, I'm pretty sure. I would really prefer a method that doesn't involve counting to 90. And in fact, there is a method. Here's what we do. We're going to write just the significant in scientific notation, and then we're going to multiply. Here's what I mean. Okay, so pulling out just the significant here. All right, I have 0 0.0041. Most significant, least significant. We'll have 4.0041 and then negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. Okay, how does that help me? Well, since those really are equal, I can write my 4.1 times 10 to the negative 3 in where my significant is. Right, I'm just understanding this as multiplication now, times 10 to the 98. And then I can use the associative property to say, I'd like to multiply those first. What'll I get? 4.1 times 10 to the negative 3 plus 98. So, 4.1 times 10 to the 95. The advantage here is that, well, I don't have to write out 95 zeros or 90 some zeros. I don't have to do any method that involves counting to 98. So that's how we handle misformed scientific notation. Now, it's also the case that sometimes we want to cause our scientific notation to be misformed. That may sound weird, but we're going to actually make use of that in the upcoming videos when we start to do arithmetic and scientific notation. We might want to rewrite a number that's in scientific notation as badly formed scientific notation with a given magnitude. 
Okay, here's what I mean. Let's say that for some reason, and we'll see reasons for this soon, we really, really want to write something with magnitude 4. Now, on one level, that's wrong, right? On one level, it just can't be done because the order of magnitude of this number is, in fact, 5. But on the other hand, we can certainly write 1.97 times 10 to the fifth equals something times 10 to the fourth. What? Well, here we're going to make very similar moves to the ones that we did before, only backward. So first we're going to split up the power of 10 that we have. So we want 10 to the fourth times something, right? So 1.97 times 10 to the fifth is 1.97 times 10 to some power times 10 to the fourth. If we were going this way, we would add the exponents. 4 plus what equals 5? 4 plus 1 equals 5. Okay, so we've split up the power of 10. And then we write the part before the 10 to the 4th in decimal notation. So 1.97 times 10 to the 1. That's 197. Move the decimal point one place to the right. That's 1.97. So 1.97 times 10 to the 1 times 10 to the 4th is 19.7 times 10 to the 4th. So if we really wanted to, we could write this as 19.7 times 10 to the fourth. We will see a reason that we want to do that in the next video.